It's really early in the morning and I start my day off by looking at emails and looking over what I have to do just so I'm prepared for the day but when I put those headphones on y'all I'm locked in for real and then I get to work so the first thing that I do in the lab of course put gloves on y'all I struggle so much putting gloves on I don't know why but I just struggle but I label my samples and this is me about to extract DNA from a gel. And this is a really easy process. This is just one of my experiments for the day. But all you do is you use this kit and you just basically dissolve the gel to get whatever is in there out. So right now I'm just adding this stuff. And I can't tell you what it is off the top of my head, but I just add this stuff. And this is just kind of used to help dissolve the gel. That's what that orange stuff is. And it's just used to dissolve the gel in a way. So I have my one sample, and then I also am doing like control. Because when you see that I use the centrifuge, you want to make sure that you have a balance. So I'm just doing two just to make sure and I label my sample that I would be using. Pretty quick and easy. So once I do that it's ready to go into the centrifuge y'all and I'm placing my two samples in there making sure it's in there correctly. I found something in there that was supposed to be in there so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop those in there. You have to make sure you hear a click because if you don't, you don't want stuff like going all over the place. So you gotta make sure you hear it quick. This is me looking over the protocol, just making sure I'm doing things correctly and making sure that it gets up to the right speed because that was suck. So I'm looking over it and then I find the post centrifuge. And I don't know if it's just me, but it's so satisfying once it gets up to the speed that it's supposed to be at because I don't know. I just find that really satisfying. It takes a second to get to the speed. It's like 17,000 something, so of course it's going to take a while. So I continue to look over the protocol again just to make sure that I'm doing everything correctly and just to make sure that I don't do anything wrong. So I'm moving on to the next steps of my experiment. And this is like the washing step with like ethanol. And don't be like me and have the pipette tip just floating in the air. I'm gonna get your pipette tip when you're literally about to use it. Don't do what I just did. That's bad science etiquette. And I'm catching it on film, but this is not an all the time thing. So don't think it is. So we're just gonna wash really, really quickly. And this step wasn't long at all but i'm doing it to both just so you know how to control sample not really control but just like spin blank i'm gonna call it a blank because it's not really a control so we're just gonna call it a blank and yeah quick and easy easy peasy but this view from the lab y'all is so pretty i love it especially during golden hour but after that I just head home. I think this was later on in the day after I was finished with everything and I was just ready to go home. So I'm packing my stuff up and I'm heading out. Hey y'all, 
so it's the end of the day. I'm on my way home. And I got a lot accomplished today. When I get home, I will sit down and talk to you guys a little bit more about my day and what happened. Today was the first day back after break. So it was a lot of just kind of getting readjusted, settled, and ready for the new year. But after this, I'm going to the gym, straight to the gym. So I will talk to y'all when I get home. editing my own from this person that I was watching um, basically said why do you want to be an influencer and I or why do you want a following and personally like when I hear the term influencer it's like I feel like a lot of people don't know exactly what they're influencing or what they want and not speaking for people but also like speaking for myself because I wanted to be like an influencer without like realizing like who am I trying to influence and I felt like for a period of time I was like changing my content to fit what other people were doing and instead of just being myself, showing y'all the raw, real me, not things that I get, not things that um, I wear on my body, but like who I am in my soul, like who I am as a person. I've been really thinking about that a lot, not just from this video, but like really just being myself and putting in on things that are important to me and what I value. And the main reason why I wanted to start this channel was to show people you know, you can be in STEM and you can accomplish your goals without feeling like you have to change or or fit into this particular category or stigma. Like, I feel like I don't fall in any category but my own. I work in STEM, but I still express myself however I want to express myself. I wear my hair how I want. I wear the clothes that I want. I express myself in the way that I want. I do YouTube and I do YouTube as a way to look back. Like the other day I was literally like looking at some of my videos and I'm so glad that I captured some of those videos from my undergraduate experience and able to go back and view these experiences that I went through. And I think that's the most rewarding thing ever. And knowing that I'm helping somebody's, somebody else's life in a positive light, that's all that matters to me. So, um, yeah. Alright y'all, so I'm in the second part of my experiment where I am picking colonies. I use this media and then I put them in this tube and then they shake for about an hour. But while that's shaking, I have to do this assay just to determine like the concentration of like protein in my sample. And this kind of took me a while. So I just sped through this and it was very tedious and making sure that 
I was putting things in the right place. So I was really focused. So y'all, in this lab, this was the first time that I used a multi-channel pipette. And when I tell you guys, this is literally the coolest thing ever. It's like you can pipette the same amount at once and or mix your sample at once. And you just use one pipette. Like that is the coolest thing ever. Like look at this y'all, everything's moving in sync and it's so satisfying to watch so this is what the finished product looks like very consistent and afterwards i just work on some of my work and respond to emails don't mind my desk looking messy like i have no organization right now and i'm definitely an organized person so i'm just really locked in making sure that i'm getting everything done making sure that i'm doing what i'm supposed to do up to date on everything and I really use the time at my desk to really kind of get my life together and also write down things that are probably missing in my life. Hey y'all, so I just got finished at the gym and I am making turkey burgers. Um, I've been craving turkey burgers since my mom was making turkey burgers and I didn't record me at the gym because I feel like the gym is like my sacred time for me to decompress. And don't mind the TV in the background, but I'm in here cooking. And yeah, I'll show y'all the finished product. Hey y'all, it's Friday. It's officially the end of the first week of January. Today I was kind of struggling getting out of bed today because my body was sore. So I'm a little bit late, but it's okay. I don't have anything pressing for my experiments right now, so I should be good. But it's cold too, and I don't have a jacket. Hey y'all, so it's the end of the day. I really could not film because I've had a busy day in terms of doing stuff in the lab. I had to send some of my plasmas off for sequencing and I was finishing amino precipitation. Oh, look at the sky. I have to like acknowledge the sky is pretty but but of course research is the priority so i didn't have time to set up and stop and film i'm leaving and i'm gonna hit the gym probably relax i was supposed to hang out with my friends today but i don't know if i'll do that today or tomorrow we'll see but yeah and also during lunch i didn't even have the opportunity to film my friends so hopefully we do something soon if not it's okay. Hey y'all, so I'm just now realizing that I never close this video out, but I finished my day at the gym and then I went into recording, spend a weekend with my life with me. So, um, like I said, I'm realizing that I never really like close that video out. So thank you all for watching. I love you all and I will see you all soon. Bye. Yeah,